The learning objectives for TR-03 are Know the definitions of terms describing angle relationships Identify angles having a relationship with another angle Know the definitions of transverse angle terms Identify the transverse relationship describing angle pairs We start with vocabulary again Congruent angles Angles having the same measure or size. Adjacent angles. Two positive angles sharing their vertex in one side. Vertical angles. Pair of angles on opposite sides of an intersection. Complementary. Two positive angles that add up to 90 degrees. Supplementary. Two positive angles that add up to 180 degrees. Transverse line. Line that crosses two parallel lines at any angle. Which labeled pairs are adjacent? Pause and I'll reveal the answer. B and E. If you said F, that's understandable, but there's a subtlety that adjacent angles can't be overlapping. And in diagram F, angle alpha is completely inside angle theta. Which pairs of angles are vertical angles? Angle ZOP and angle BOK are vertical angles since they're on opposite sides of the intersection. Angle ZOB and POK would be the other pair of vertical angles. Which pairs of angles, alpha and theta, are complementary? Pause and I'll give the answer. Scenarios A and B depict complementary angles. Complementary angles are positive angles that sum to 90 degrees. Scenario C sums to 90 degrees, but they aren't both positive. And scenario D sums to 100 degrees instead of 90. Which pairs of numbered angles are supplementary? Assume the horizontal lines are parallel. There's more than one correct answer, so pause and note them, and I'll give the answers all at once. B, C, D, and F are supplementary. Answer F has a little twist. Angle 4 is congruent to angle 8, which is supplementary with angle 7. So angles 4 and 7 are supplementary. What's this line called? Transversal or transverse line. Here are some extra helper slides for identifying transversal angles. Here are their names. They can be confusing. The word alternate means opposite side of the transversal. An alternate pair of angles would have one angle on each side of the transversal. The word interior means inside or between the parallel lines. The word exterior means outside the parallel lines. So alternate interior means opposite sides of the transversal and between the parallel lines. So these are alternate interior angles, and so are these. Alternate interior angles are congruent. Alternate exterior angles are on opposite sides of the transversal and outside the parallel lines. So these are alternate exterior angles, and so are these. Alternate exterior angles are also congruent. Of transversal, or of the transversal, means the angles are on the same side, not the opposite side, of the transversal. These are interior angles of transversal. They're between the parallel lines and on the same side of the transversal. These are also interior angles of transversal. These pairs of angles are always supplementary. Exterior angles of transversal are outside the parallel lines and on the same side of the transversal. So these are exterior angles of transversal, and so are these. Exterior angles of transversal are always supplementary. Describe the relationship between each angle pair. I'll go one by one, so pause as you like. Angles 4 and 6. They're interior angles of transversal. Angles 1 and 5. Corresponding angles. Angles 2 and 7. Alternate exterior angles. Angles 4 and 5. 
alternate interior angles, angles 2 and 8, exterior angles of transversal, angles 3 and 6, alternate interior angles.